In this mosaic image stretching 340 light years across, Webb's near infrared camera, NearCam, displays the Tarantula Nebula star forming region in a new light, including tens of thousands of never before seen young stars that were previously shrouded in cosmic dust. The most active region appears to sparkle with massive young stars, appearing pale blue. Scattered among them are still embedded stars, appearing red, yet to emerge from the dusty cocoon of the nebula. NearCam is able to detect these dust and shrouded stars thanks to its unprecedented resolution at near infrared wavelengths. To the upper left of the cluster of young stars, and the top of the nebula's cavity, an older star prominently displays NearCam's distinctive eight diffraction spikes, an artifact of the telescope structure. Following the top central spike of this star upward, it almost points to a distinctive bubble in the cloud. Young stars still surrounded by dusty material are blowing this bubble, beginning to carve out their own cavity. Astronomers used two of Webb's spectrographs to take a closer look at this region and determine the chemical makeup of the star and its surrounding gas. This spectral information will tell astronomers about the age of the nebula and how many generations of star birth it has seen. Farther from the core region of hot young stars, cooler gas takes on a rust color, telling astronomers that the nebula is rich with complex hydrocarbons. This dense gas is the material that will form future stars. As winds from the massive stars sweep away gas and dust, some of it will pile up and, with gravity's help, form new stars. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, reveals what is really going on in an intriguing region of the Tarantula Nebula. Astronomers focused the powerful instrument on what looked like a small bubble feature in the image from Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam. However, the spectra reveal a very different picture from a young star blowing a bubble in its surrounding gas. The signature of atomic hydrogen, shown in blue, shows up in the star itself but not immediately surrounding it. Instead, it appears outside the bubble, which spectra show is actually, filled with molecular hydrogen which is green, and complex hydrocarbons which is red. This indicates that the bubble is actually the top of a dense pillar of dust and gas that is being blasted by radiation from the cluster of massive young stars to its lower right. It does not appear as pillar-like as some other structures in the nebula because there is not much color contrast with the area surrounding it. The harsh stellar wind from the massive young stars in the nebula is breaking apart molecules outside the pillar, but inside they are preserved, forming a cushy cocoon for the star. This star is still too young to be clearing out its surroundings by blowing bubbles, NearSpec has captured it just beginning to emerge from the protective cloud from which it was formed. Without Webb's resolution at infrared wavelengths, the discovery of this star birth in action would not have been possible. NearSpec was built for the European Space Agency, ESA, by a consortium of European companies led by Airbus Defence and Space, ADS, with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center providing its detector and micro-shutter subsystems. A side-by-side -side display of the same region of the Tarantula Nebula, brings out the distinctions between Webb's near-infrared, closer to visible red, on the left, and mid-infrared, further from visible red, on the right. Each portion of the electromagnetic spectrum reveals and conceals different features, making data in different wavelengths valuable to astronomers for understanding the physics taking place. The image captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, on the left, features bright, hot features, like the sparkling cluster of massive young stars, and the bright star to their upper left, featuring Webb's distinctive diffraction spikes. Young emerged stars shine blue, while scattered red points indicate stars that are still enshrouded in dust. Structure in the nebula, carved by the stellar winds of the massive young stars, is intricately detailed. In the view from Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, the hot young stars fade, and cooler gas takes the spotlight. Much of the nebula takes on a ghostly appearance in the mid-infrared, because these longer wavelengths of light are able to penetrate the dust clouds and reach where previously hidden bubbles and dust-embedded stars emerge. A particularly prominent, spherically shaped bubble, being blown out by a newborn star, 
appears in the Miri image just to the right of the now darkened central star cluster. Another difference between the two images is the appearance of the bright lone star at the top of the nebula's cavity. In the Miri image, on the right, the star is fainter relative to the surrounding nebula, so the glare and the distortion of Webb's diffraction spikes are much less prominent. In the midst of the central cluster of young stars, one dense gas clump is clearly visible in both images, it is one of the last dense remnants of the nebula that the young cluster star's stellar winds have not yet eroded away. Want to learn more about the exciting discoveries in the cosmos on a regular basis, then remember to subscribe to Clout Boss and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future, feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our post.